How's it going, folks? We do stash here. Um, if you're looking for a quick way to improve your hinge, a great way to practice that is by doing it from the seated position. So we'll take our legs out of the equation. We're going to sit down on the very edge of our chair. We're going to walk our legs all the way out so our front, our feet are out in front of our knees. Your spine's going to be nice and long. I don't want your rib cage up. I don't want you rounded here. We want that rib cage to be down and this whole thing to be one solid piece. From that position, you're going to hinge from your hips. So if you look at my back as I come forward, everything's happening from those hips. I go until I stop, until my hips stop tilting. Once they stop tilting, I take a breath in there. Focus on that lower core, engaging, and pulling myself back up as one piece. What will tend to happen is we'll get to a spot, we try to go lower, and now we're bending from our back. I don't want to see your spine flex forward. So instead, you're going to think about rib cage down, lengthen that spine out, hinge, 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 take a breath, pull yourself back up. If that gets easy, you grab a couple of weights, hold them up front, and then you're going to use that weight to pull you deeper into that stretch. And it's going to make it a little more work coming back down. As you do that back and forth, you'll start getting a nice solid stretch on the inside of the legs here. A little bit of those hamstrings as we're tilting forward. And the better we get the hinge in the seated position, the better it will be standing up. Try it out. We know how it goes.